friends. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you all how we get green beans from the garden into the freezer. Step by step, it's super easy. And I'm telling you, green beans out of your own garden, like don't even compare with store-bought green beans. We ran out and I was buying green beans from the store and we were all like, man, this is like eating cardboard. But before we jump into the video, I wanna give you a quick tour of my outside. I've been showing you us planting the garden and when we planted flowers and I just want to get you caught up to date on how everything is looking. Now some of the flowers, especially in the planters, are kind of over their peak and they're looking a little drab. I kept thinking I should show you guys an update, but I just never got around to it. So some of the flowers are still doing very well. Others are kind of over the hill. On some of these super hot days, I wasn't doing the best I should have been in watering them. And so, yeah, they kind of took a beating. But I will show you uh, quickly around the place a little bit. So remember in front of the house here where we planted the flowers when my sister came to help. I'll have cards up here if you want to see that, if you didn't um, see it already. The sad thing is with dogs running through flower beds, I can't keep after three dogs trying to train them all. They killed part of the flowers with their little trail. I should have known better than to plant flowers there. And it took a while for them to take off with all the dogs running through the flower bed, but they still did fairly well, especially behind me here in that big circle. So I'll just show you quickly. So the mulch looks pretty beaten down as it often does towards the end of summer and especially with my doggy trails which is super annoying. You can see the dogs come running through here and go tearing around to the back. There was flowers the whole way through here that died but over on this side things are doing really well. Hi Xander. These around this circle where the dogs weren't definitely are doing ever so much better. And I'm pretty happy with how these sun patients uh, blossomed. Anyway, so this section of the flower bed still looks really nice and the flowers really took off in about a month or so. And my creeping Jenny is just taking over everything. I think that's called creeping Jenny. Like how awesome would that look if this whole front would have been this nice and full? Crazy dogs. We have to take care of that next summer. So front of the house, this basket had been really nice but a lot of it died off because I wasn't keeping after it like I should. So it's just this one little flower hanging off the side. And then here is the big container. It's doing okay, but it's definitely not looking the best anymore. In this corner, there was a whole bunch of tiger lilies. So that looked really nice when they were blooming and everything else was blooming. This front flower bed definitely needs uh, some attention. So moving on to our garden, once again, each set of flowers that I planted or that we planted had its different blooming seasons. I kind of thought they would all bloom together. We planted Shastas and Black Eyed Susans and there was another flower, now I'm forgetting the name. And they kind of each bloomed individually um, at their peak and so one was half dying off and then the other one would bloom and so I thought I'd wait until they were all blooming to show you guys but now I missed it and they're all pretty much dying. So. Uh, the really cool thing is my sunflowers. Remember all those sunflowers I planted in the garden when we were planting garden? Cards here again if you're interested in seeing that. I planted a ton of sunflowers and I absolutely love how they turned out. They kind of gave this homey feel to my garden and made it feel sort of enclosed because they're terribly tall. Xander just loves peeling around um, on the inside. He calls it tunnels as he's like running around within the uh, sunflowers. So that adds some character to the garden. I really like it. Um, and I'll quickly show you how um, the flowers are looking right now, but they're pretty much dying off. So it's not the prettiest. I wish I would have had pictures when they were doing a lot better, but I don't. And you can tell these flowers, um, yeah. They're definitely kind of starting to show their age. And then on this side, I have the second basket, which is doing a little bit better. And the other flowers as well, like we had done before. So yeah, the flowers on this end of the spectrum definitely aren't doing as well. But let me take you on a walk through my little garden path and show you my sunflowers. Now the garden is pretty weedy, especially in the potato area. <laughs> but um, yeah, let me show you around. Where's Xander? Where's Xander? Oh, there he is! <laughs> what are you doing, Bubba? Tunnels. Tunnels? Hi! <laughs> Tunnels! <laughs> is it pretty neat in here? What are these? What is 
this? continue around our path and you can just tell the sunflowers just took over this whole area and they're starting to bloom which are pretty high up here but you can see sunflowers popping in here and there so as you continue around then over here are my uh, window boxes which they're starting to show their age as well especially these ferny things that kind of died off but from afar they still look pretty nice so right behind me is the garden, the sunflowers, love it. This section right here is the potatoes and they're really grown up in weeds. Um, we didn't quite keep after like we should have, so hard to keep after gardens. And then over there is the green beans we'll be picking tomorrow. I'll be showing you guys that whole step process tomorrow. Oh, look at you. Can you show mommy where the green beans are? You show, you show mommy the green beans. Where's the green beans? There they are. Look at that, you even picked one. Good job, Bubba. You wanna eat it? Yum. Oh, did you get the wrong piece? Yummy. Yeah, green beans. One green bean. You're getting another green bean? Oh, more green beans. More green beans, look at that. You don't want to eat the end, that's yucky. So we have five rows of green beans and they take a while to put pick. And we've been picking them. This is probably our fifth picking maybe, or sixth, I'm forgetting. The thing I don't enjoy about green beans is they get ready like every three days you have to pick them and so it just feels like you're doing green beans forever and ever and a. Um, but bless my mom's heart, she's been really helping me this summer. So she's been a true blessing. So she's actually coming tomorrow to help me pick these green beans and I'll be showing you guys the steps oh, of putting green beans, beans away for the freezer. So see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. It is a beautiful cool morning but it's really dewy and wet so I'm not really looking forward to picking beans. It actually rained yesterday and so my mom wasn't able to come. It's Saturday, Nolan's home and he'll probably be able to help me some. So I'm hoping there won't be too many this picking because I'm just looking for a relaxing day and I don't really feel like doing green beans. Yeah, it's important to wear the right headgear. Xander, come look what mommy found. Come. Let's see, is he still here? Look! Whoop! Look what mom found. Do you know what that is? Ew! Ew! Wow! Is it a worm? I can't get it now! Is Coco gonna get it? What do you want, buddy? Uh, what do we talk? Yeah, I'm gonna help mom pick bean beans. Mom, dad. What? Dad. He wants you to go look at the worm. Oh, listen, my guy. Listen, let's go look at the worm. Oh, wow, buddy. Big old green worm, huh? Look at that. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? A duck. Is it stuck?
done picking green beans. I got this whole orange tub full. Once they're picked, I usually like to cut them before I wash them. So now comes the long, tedious part. I like to have a little bowl to snip the ends into in the bad spots, and then I have a bigger bowl right here to put the cut pieces into, and I generally just cut them into three pieces. I'm not picky with length. I just want to get done, and so let's start snapping beans. I like to fill up my hand with quite a few, just quickly snip off the ends. Sometimes I do miss some spots, but you can always pick them out later. Once I have a nice handful, I just cut them, and they all come out to various lengths for sure. But really, it doesn't matter. We eat these. They're not to be like perfect lengths. So if you're new here, my name's Janine. I'm a Mennonite mom, and our family's channel is NJ Family, which stands for my husband and I's initials. I really enjoy documenting life and sharing all things mom-related. So we have lifestyle videos, DIY projects, mom tips. Um, so yeah, if you are interested, subscribe and hit the little bell button because I normally post every Friday, but now and then I'll get extra videos out during the week and the little bell will notify you when I post a new video. So let's go on to the next step, step number three. So next step is washing the green beans and I just fill it with water and kind of rinse them and drain it because they're going to go through the water in the kettle and then we're going to cool them off as well. The next thing we need to do is blanch the beans, which is basically just putting them in boiling water. It's really handy if you have a blancher, but there's basically just like a strainer on the inside so you can like put your beans in and then just pull them out. So I already have this water coming to a boil. So I'm going to be sharing the way I do green beans. Um, you want to bring the water to a boil, and once it's to a rolling boil, you put the green beans in. And I personally just wait until the water gets back to a rolling boil after the green beans are in. As soon as it's boiling, I take it out and dump them into cold water to cool. People will sometimes tell you once it comes to a rolling boil, you let it boil for three minutes and then take them out. But I think it works fine if you just bring it to a rolling boil. It's much quicker. I think it works fine. So if they don't taste quite to your liking, you can blame me. But if you want to be super careful and make sure you do it the right way, you can let them boil for three minutes. So it's on a roll rolling boil. And I just put them in here. And you can tell they're completely covered with water. So put the lid back on and meanwhile, I'm gonna fill up a bin of water. You want this water to be really cold. You can put ice cubes in if you need to. We'll wait till that comes to a boil and then continue. Okay, I think it's almost, almost finished. Yeah, it's a rolling boil. And when the green beans turn bright green, that's kind of a sign they're finished, at least to my knowledge. So before I would usually just fill up the bin with water, dump the green beans in, let them cool, and then fish them all out, which took a while. I like the idea of running them through a salad bowl spinner. This is a Tupperware one, but I'll have links to some below if you're interested. They do a really good job at like getting the water out of even green beans. But I decided, you know what? Why fish all these green beans out? I'm just gonna put the colander, just submerge it into my water, and I'll dump the green beans into that, and then when they're cool, I can just pull the whole thing out instead of trying to fish green beans out. Why didn't I not think of this earlier? It's such a smart hack. So I just threw an ice pack in there with the green beans to help them cool. It might take a little bit longer for them to cool in a more tight container like this, but I'm gonna try it out, see how it works. Then I can just pick the whole thing up, rinse it out, and dump it into the bowl. Um, the green beans did not take any amount of difference to cool. I threw some ice in there like I showed you. I can just pull the whole colander out of the water into my salad spinner. Then I'm just gonna go and spin out the water. All right. You can see all the water it's, it pressed out. And we'll just dump it in this container right here. And this is gonna be what I put into the bags. More beans in the blancher. It's boiling, so put more beans in. And that is the process until we're finished. All right, so last of all, we need to bag the green beans. 
So I just like to use quart size freezer bags and then I go and mark the year on the freezer bag. That way I know when I did them just in case we end up not using them all in one year. Now how much you put in each bag is up to how large your family is. We really eat a lot of green beans because green beans is such a healthy food. It's a low carb vegetable. It's not like a starchy vegetable. And it's one of the few vegetables like that I feel is super help healthy to have with each meal. Um, a lot of diets allow for it. So we really go through a lot. Xander loves them. I usually put three cups in for us. And then I just ran across this really neat trick I wanted to try. I'm gonna see how time consuming it is. Obviously you wanna to try to get all the air out of the bag that you can. Um, and I saw this trick where you're supposed to stick a straw into the bag and tighten up to either side of the straw, like so. And then you're supposed to suck all the air out of the bag. Look at that, it's like vacuum packed almost compared to what I usually did before. So I'm gonna finish up the green beans. I'll let you know how many packs I got. Yeah, then we'll put them in the freezer. All right, so I got, I think about 13 packs. I think the last pack wasn't quite three cups. So I think altogether I have about 100 packs that I've done this year already. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna quit with that or keep going. So there you have it, from farm to table, <laughs> or freezer rather. Doing green beans is super easy, but it is definitely a little bit time consuming, but it's not really messy, um, you can just work at it. So I would just suggest if you have a small plot of land, even just a small section, just plant green beans and they keep producing as long as you take care of them and feed them. I've I think they actually can do two different cycles throughout the year. You have to pick them like twice a week, every couple days. It does take time and it gets kind of old. It's just, it would be nice if you could just pick your green beans and be done for the year and get all your packs in. The time consuming part is picking them and then snipping them. That takes a long time. It goes so much faster if you have multiple people, not just one person. It's just so nice knowing where your food comes from. Um, you can grow organically. And I'm telling you, once you get hooked onto it, there's just no comparison with store-bought. Store-bought starts tasting like cardboard after you're used to um, your own homegrown vegetables. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you guys next time. And you say bye everybody. You say bye. Bye. There you go, bye. 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 <laughs> Is it pretty neat in here? What are these? What is this? Flower. Sunflower. What? What?